how to make a paper server in Minecraft 1.19.3. In this video, we're going to show you exactly how to do exactly that. But first and foremost, this isn't a server that's up and running all the time. It's only going to be up and running when your computer is up and running. With that, it's hosted on your own computer as well, meaning you do need a decent computer in order to run this server and play Minecraft at the same time. While paper servers are more efficient than like a vanilla Minecraft server, they do still require okay computers in order to run them and play Minecraft while you're running them. On top of all that, it is hosted on your own internet connection, so you do need a good internet connection, a stable one as well, and you only want to give this out to your friends, your family, and people you trust because it's hosted on your own internet. Why does that matter? Well, because anyone who gets the IP address of the server we create in this video will be able to DDoS you. They'll also be able to find out where you live down to your latitude and longitude coordinates. So it's super important that if you want to have a public server that anyone can join, that you use someone like Apex Minecraft Hosting. Not only at Apex can you have a server that's public or private, they also host everything on their own hardware, meaning you don't have to worry about the hardware that your server's hosted on being your computer computer. It's hosted on Apex hardware. And at Apex, they strive to have lag-free, high-quality, top-end hardware for all of their servers. On top of that, you can create your paper server in just one click. This video is not super long, but we don't include allowing your friends to join in this specific video. We got a link out to another video for that. So if you do that, it takes over 30 minutes to start a server and get it up and running correctly. And at Apex, you can do it in under five minutes. On top of all of that, Apex takes care of security, DDoS protection, and everything. All you have to do is set your paper server up by selecting selecting it in the drop down menu and then join the server. It's that simple. It's also super simple to add plugins. And if you have any issues, Apex has 24 hours, seven day a week support should you need it. So if you want to start a server in the quickest and easiest way possible, check out Apex at the first link in the description down below the breakdown that XYZ slash Apex to get your server up and running where you don't have to worry about DDoS protection. You don't have to worry about hardware and you don't have to worry about your friends and family joining while getting the server set up in the quickest way possible. Nonetheless, if you do want to set up a server on your own computer, let's go ahead and jump right on into it. But nevertheless, if you do want to go ahead and get a server set up on your own computer, let's go ahead and jump right on into it. Now, as you can see here, this is our in-depth text tutorial for how to make a paper server. It goes through everything you need to know to get your paper server up and running in Minecraft 1.19.3. However, we're also going to go over this in this video, but this does go through things at your own pace. Once you're here, go ahead and click on the yellow download paper button, and it will take you to paper's official download page, where you want to make sure Minecraft 1.19.3 is selected, as you can see it is here, and then you want to come under and download the most recent version. By the way, the reason these are red is because it's uh, still, as you can see, in beta. It's basically experimental. There could be issues. So nevertheless, be aware of that. But if this blue button is, if this button right here is blue with a download icon, that's a good thing. Always download, by the way, the most recent version of paper here. But we can click on this button right here. It could be a blue download button like this, or it could be the red one, and it will download paper in the bottom left of Chrome. You may need to keep it in the bottom left of Chrome or save it on Mozilla Firefox, depending on which browser you're using. Depends on how you save it, but you may need to keep or save the file depending on your browser. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and what we want to do is on our desktop, right-click and create a new folder, and we can title it whatever you want. I'm going to title it 1.19 or paper. 1.19.3 server. So this is a paper server in 1.19.3. That's how we get that name. Now we want to move the paper server file we downloaded into this folder. To do that, click the little notes icons in the top left of my screen from the bottom left of your screen and type in downloads. If you have a downloads folder, open it. Otherwise, click on file explorer and then in the left hand sidebar, scroll down to the downloads folder here under this PC. Open that downloads folder and there's the paper file we downloaded. Drag it to your desktop and then drag it into your paper 1.19.3 server folder. Now what we want to do in this folder is actually right click and create a new text document. Now you can leave this just named default new text document. Open up your text document. Then in the description down below, you will have this. This is basically how much RAM you want your paper server to have. So two gigabytes or four gigabytes. I'm going to go ahead and use two gigabytes because I don't plan on doing anything except make this server for this video. So I don't need more RAM. And by the way, the amount of RAM is found here, right? So that's where you can see that. Copy that from the description though and paste it. It should start with Java with nothing before it and end with pause with nothing after it, right? Like so. Click file, save as, and then what you want to do is name this run.bat. You can then change the save type as to all files. I say you can then do that. You must do that. And finally, confirm things. We have a run.bat file name with save type as all files. Now when we click save, we can close out of all of this and we'll have this new run.bat file here. You can delete the new text document because the run.bat file is all we need. Now, before we double click that, we actually need to rename the paper file we downloaded. Now, for you, this may not have paper.jar at the end. And if it doesn't, you can click on view at the top and select file name extensions. As you can see, whether or not .jar appears means whether or not that's checked. But right click this, rename it to simply paper. 
That's all it wants to be called is paper. And now go ahead and double click on the run.bat file. At this point, it will try to start your paper server, but it will fail. The reason it will fail is we need to agree to the Minecraft EULA. Boom, it fails. So press any key to continue and it closes out of that. Now, we have this new EULA.txt file. Open this up with Notepad, and then you want to go to this link here, and as long as you agree to the Minecraft EULA, you can change EULA equals false here to EULA equals true. T-R-U-E, exactly like that. Once you've got that, click File, Save, and it will save the EULA.txt. Now, what if you didn't get an EULA.txt file there? Well, in that case, you need to download and install Java. Java 17 specifically is required for Minecraft servers, and Paper is a Minecraft server, so you need to download and install Java 17 from our website here. It goes through everything. You're actually not downloading Java from our website. You're downloading that from the official website right here, but we go through how to do that and how to successfully install it. On top of that, you may need to run the jar fix, which is going to take all the jar files, like the paper server jar there, and link it to Java, making it work happily together. But nevertheless, we can go ahead and minimize our browser here, and we can, assuming we've agreed to the ULA.txt like we have now, double click the run.bat file. That's going to go ahead and actually start our server on up, and we can go ahead and join our server. Now at this point, we're the only people that can join our server, and if you wanted to start like a local server just to test plugins and stuff, you're actually done. You can join the server, you can test plugins on it, all of that, but if you want your friends to join, you will need to port forward. We'll talk about that more here in a second, but let's go ahead and see if we can join this server once Minecraft is open. So here we are on the Minecraft main menu. We can click multiplayer, proceed, and then direct connect to local host here. When we join on in, it's actually going to take us right into our world. You can see on the left hand side that we have joined. We're going to go. We are now in our paper server. We can op ourselves by coming over here into the console, typing op and then our username. And the reason we want to do that is we can do slash version in game and see that we are in fact running paper. That's important because I want to show you that this is in fact a paper server. Now, at this point, your friends can't join this server. As a matter of fact, you're the only person that will ever be able to join using that local host IP address. So how do your friends join? Well, they will need to port forward. Luckily, we have this guy. It's an in-depth guy that's helped over half a million people port forward their Minecraft server. It's actually the same for vanilla modded and paper servers like this. So go through this in-depth guide and it shows you everything you need to know. I your IP address. Everything is covered here in this in-depth video. We also have this in the description, which is our Minecraft plugins guide. It goes over everything you need to know about these plugins from Essentials X, ClearLag, TibX, Creep Prevention. We cover it all here. So it's super in-depth and it helps you get things up and running for your server. We've done over 39 plugin guides. Last but not least, we do have this as well, which is how to fix a broken Minecraft server. Let's say you've had any issues on your server, different problems, things like that. Well, that's where this comes in. We go over how to fix different Minecraft server issues. And specifically, we cover tons of in-depth problems right here in this 20 minute long troubleshooting video. Now, what if you want to add plugins? Unfortunately, YouTube doesn't like us putting all this stuff. That's why you have so many links, because YouTube doesn't like us making super long in-depth guides these days. So because of that, we have an in-depth guide on how to add plugins to your server, which is actually on your screen right now. That goes over everything you need to know to add plugins to your server, from how to download them, how to install them, and how to get them up and running correctly, including editing the plugin files to be able to configure them and things like that. By the way, when you want to stop your server, make sure you type stop right like so on the console and hit enter. Otherwise, it won't stop correctly and you can have all sorts of issues. But nevertheless, check out that video on how to add plugins on your screen right now. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel for more incredible content. We'll see you in that plugin video. And I'm out. Peace.